Island of Truebridge, I'm in Long Island in the Bahamas. It's a small island with a big heart that has been devastated by a hurricane, but it's come back up in the last six months. And this is where William, my son, creates this vertical blue competition, which he puts on every year with his buddies for the athletes of free diving. It's the most spectacular event. The competition is fantastic for the island because it brings people who have never been here before, never heard about our island, especially after the storm. You know, a lot of people suffered, but now we're back up on our feet. And now we've been able to get our cars rented, the apartments and hotels, everything is now fully booked, which is fantastic for our economy. It's absolutely fabulous to see all the outcome of the locals, that progressively every year now more and more locals are coming, which is perfect for the island. It's exactly what we need here. It gets the word out. You know, Long Island's a really quiet island in the Bahamas. No one really knows about it. And it has one of the most distinct features in the world, the Dean's Blue Hole. And to be able to get the word out through the free diving competitions and everything is just perfect. It does the island great on the tourism. A lot of people have been coming to the island now that I've never seen before. And so it's, it's really great. Vertical Blue 2016 could not have been any better than it was, with dozens and dozens of national records. And when we first saw Sayori Kaneshita achieve a world record for the women in constant no fins, we thought that was excellent. <laughs> Sayori is a monster, I think. <laughs> then William Truebridge accomplished his 16th world record, which was incredible. Free immersion, 122 meters. To top it all off, to make it the most spectacular competition that we've ever seen, on the last day, William Truebridge set yet another world record in free immersion to 124 meters in 4 minutes and 34 seconds. Vertical Blue was started in 2008 as a kind of way for athletes to come together and attempt personal bests, national records, world records, without the kind of drama of maybe a world championship where you only get one attempt. If you're a free diver and you like competition and everybody knows about Vertical Blue, you know, if you want to make your mark, then this is the competition to do it. I got it. 105 meters, new national record from Italy. Ah! I feel a really good atmosphere in between athletes and they're always asking you how are you doing and how did everything went so of course there's a intense competition but you know in a very friendly manner. I know everybody because it's a very nice community and it's all people it's nice I think. It's a very good moment in the world for uh, meeting everybody. It's the weirdest thing because when I grew up I was never part of big groups. Then I started freediving and at one point I noticed I was walking down a hill in Germany towards a lake wearing my wetsuit and there was this girl I had never met her before. She was walking up the hill, she smiled at me and I smiled at her because we knew like what I'm about to experience is what she has just experienced which is this lovely lake and all of a sudden I realized like I've never met this person and I have a deep connection with her and I realized I have this with all these people here. I feel so honoured to be here. I feel that they're all my children, that I'm proud of everybody. And it's the greatest occasion for me. It's the most prestigious competition, definitely. The conditions for diving can't be better. When you have a spot where you can free dive so easily, you just go from the beach into the blue hole. That means that it's a place to be. Our vertical blue is uh, it's just perfect. <laughs> It's one of the best set up competitions in terms of safety and performance. William is taking care about the safety team very properly. The safety and the judges, you know, they have the jobs that are the thankless ones. And they're in the water all day and we need them so much. I've known and followed these athletes through their dives. I feel so close to them that to actually meet them is incredible because freedivers, they are athletes at the very top of athletic performance because it's not just a physical thing, it's a total unison between body, mind and spirit. It feels like being in a dream, to be honest. And then when you come back to the surface, you're awake again. There's poetry in motion. 
you know, it's similar to Michael Jordan playing basketball. It elevates the human condition to a new plateau. So if you're able to witness that and get that on film, yeah, that's, that's really inspiring. All I can tell you all is that you have to come here and experience it for yourself.